All right, everybody, welcome to Johnny Nerd Out. We got another custom e-bike build for you. We'll be going over this bike, what we did to it. So if you got a BMX in your garage or you're thinking about getting a BMX and you're thinking about converting it, hopefully this will help you scratch that itch, answer some questions, so on and so forth. All right, if you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerd Out. I run a custom e-bike conversion shop right behind me. We do all the conversions. We have all the parts, components. We do all the shipping, everything out of here. So if you are looking for some e-bike components, go to johnnynerdout.com. Be happy to help you out there. What do we got here? This is a oh, this is a BMX bike. This is called the Two Hip. This is like a two. It's called Two Hip. Um, the Playboy is what it's called. What are size tires are these? Twenty inches? Yeah, these are twenty inch wheels. So these are small wheels. Customer had this bike obviously, wanted something to just kind of rip around town on. Didn't care that it didn't have a front brake. Told him, hey, you know the there's no front brake. It's only a rear brake. It's like that's cool. I'm just gonna be ripping around the neighborhoods, but I do want it to be powerful. And I do want it to be able to go 30 miles an hour. They're like, okay, we can do it. You can dream it, we can build it. We put a BBS HD motor on here, puts out a thousand watts nominal. Peak, it's about 1700 watts. Uh, we used a Lecky 42 tooth. The reason why we went with the 42 tooth is, especially with Lecky, is it has a really good offset. So it brings the chain line back in. With a stock chain ring, the chain line would have been kind of way out too far. And it's only got nine teeth on the back. This is a really, really small high gear, which means it's only grabbing onto about four teeth at any given time. So you want it to be as straight as possible, but we also wanted it to be as small as possible to give it good torque and hill climbing. So this was about the best chain ring you could get. It could probably have done a 40 tooth, but for the price difference, the 40 tooth is like $70 more. This one is a 42, it's two teeth. It's not a big dip, you know, it's not a big difference. So this, this accomplished our goal for the most part. We're still able to hit over 30 miles an hour. And then for the battery, we went with a 52 volt, eight amp hour high performance pack. These things could put out 50 amps continuous. No problem. They got the 40 T cells in them, Samsung 40 T's. So the 30 amps that the BBS HD pulls is nothing. We just put one, there's only one brake lever here. So we just did one brake cutoff here. We went with the 600C color display. It's a nice color display. And we got the throttle right here. I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a pretty simple design. You know, the one thing, you know, we could have put the battery in a slightly different position, but it, nothing was quite ideal. And when you're dealing with a tiny frame like this, it's not a whole lot of spots. Ideally, we'd like to put it underneath the seat, but this is a BMX seat. It, there's no rails here to mount this to. We could have possibly drilled it and done some MacGyvering with it, but this, it doesn't interfere with anything. There's no pedal strike. It's got, I don't know, three inches on either side. Doesn't hit the chain. There's two inches on either side there. Could have put it here, but then it's kind of, you'd have to run extension cables in the front and high. Nah, it's all right. So anyways, let's go do a top speed test for this and see if we were able to crack that 30 mile an hour threshold. All right, so you see 33 miles an hour, uh, crazy fast on this little tiny uh, kid's bike, essentially. Oh, one thing I did want to mention too is this had a uh, uh, like a special bottom bracket. It was 41 millimeters in diameter. So we had to use the Lecky uh, 41 millimeter adapter. So it, all it does is it takes a bigger hole, puts bushings in there, and it brings it down to like that 34 millimeter so that the Bafang motor just slides in perfectly. Those are like eight bucks a pop, not a big deal. So if you do have something like this with, with a bigger bottom bracket, there are adapters for that to shrink it down. Pretty happy with it. It's a pretty uni unique build. Not many bikes out there like this and you could still jump curbs and stuff. Oh, and guess what? I got my fish hook. Let's, let's weigh it. Let's see what the weight of this thing is. 40 pounds. So we got a 40 pound bike here. It's pretty easy. I'm a weak boy, but check me out. This is what you could do when you're not riding. You do this and you get huge. Thanks for checking it out, guys. Uh, check the description below for all the links to all these parts on here. If you want a direct link to what we built, uh, and head to johnnynerdout.com for consultations, all your components, and help. All right, later, guys.